There was an app armor bypass recently. This was quite interesting because, ah, these are just not loading. Okay, and we get that, cool. So what we've seen here is we've just created a volume and put it over part of the proc file system. We shouldn't be able to do that, it was a bug, but this means that when the application looks for information as to what app armor configuration is configured, we've overwritten it and there is none. Sly little bypass, I don't know how long this was around for, probably a good long time, um, but yeah. Proc self exe, this one is fun. This is uh, taking a symlink or a pointer perhaps back to the uh, Docker run C binary from inside the container, overwriting it and popping a shell. And I will attempt to demo this one. So where are we now? And this, as I said, will carry on and it's nice and put it shut down. Yeah, yes. Okay, where are we going? So let's go here. Um, so what have we got? We have a Docker file. And in that Docker file, you can see we have compiled uh, some exploits. We're actually patching set comp inside the container. And then um, we're symlinking proxelf exe to the entry point of the container. Um, I should point out that none of these exploits are mine. I'm just standing on the shoulders of giants, of course. And all of these are publicly available. So what happens? We build this Docker file. Um, and actually, what we've done in the exploit stage here is is uh, actually it's in the other stage is um, is right here we go so we write the string cv2019 onto the end of the run c binary what would we actually do well we just replace it with a malicious payload like a file or a bash script that did something that we wanted so how do we prove that this hasn't yet worked let's have a look at where run c is and we see at the end there is nothing there. And then if we just run this container that I built earlier, you'll have to trust me. Uh, then what are we gonna see? Nothing, there we go. So these are the returns code, return code from the system calls and we have appended our string. So again, what's happened? We're inside a container, a theoretical isolation boundary and we've been able to influence or Im impact things that sit on the host. This is a bad day, this is how we break out of containers. What is the fix here? Don't run old versions of software. Really, really easy. But as we know, everything is a people problem and our organizations probably mean that it's very difficult to keep things patched in a timely manner. This is immutable infrastructure. This is aggressive builds and pipelines for all of our work, for all of our servers.